Thanks, babe. Let me change my scarf around. It's just nighttime chats, isn't it? People love nighttime chats. Are you newly married? Have you recently moved out of your family home? Have you been spoiled with Ramadan blessings for the past 15 to 20 years of your life? Are you trying to create your own Ramadan feels? Well, looky here. <laughs> Introducing <laughs> Ramadan decorations. <laughs> we have an assortment of varieties. They come together as individuals, but you can also group them together like this. Once you group them together, they are hard to separate, much like families. <laughs> Buy your own or just use the ones left over from your ex-family home. We don't believe in rejects, we believe in turning other people's dirt into our tomorrow. I miss coffee. Is it coffee? Green tea. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, I miss honey too. Coconut sugar is not the one. I told you it's not the same. How many days you put in your mouth? Two, but already bit. Are you still washing them? Hmm? Do you wash your dates? Do you wash your dates? Do you, do you wash your bum? <laughs> do you wash your bum? We call it the lota. He calls it the dolly. Why do you say dulu? Dulu. Oh yeah, mama you, says dulu. You say dulu. Yeah. Is Muslim shower the same as that? Yeah. Surprised not to call it like a Muslim spray or a Muslim water. Because it's a shower head. Bruh! You know the one in your mom's house? I can never figure it out, you know? Yeah, if you turn it up, it spurts water. Yes! Out, so it's broken. It's broken. Yeah! Oh my god, you never told me! It was too powerful. Like, I feel like it's. You lift your it's your aggressive. Seat. <laughs> yeah, it's aggressive. I've done it before where there's an increment of press and I can never find it and I'm always in the bathroom like. I'm so terrified. No, it, like, let's try to open it to get it the right thing. Like, shut up! <laughs> Because we bring it for non-Muslims as well to shock them. <laughs> we <laughs> say, go use that bun. So like, what's this? Woo! <laughs> this haram just leaves the bun. <laughs> so the Muslim showers and you guys are just for sure. Our um, Muslim showers convert people. <laughs> <laughs> it scared me away. <laughs> You're lucky I'm still here. When you walk into work with a bottle and people look at you like... Ugh. I used to take a water bottle to the bathroom. I had a nice one, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that you just crunch like that. And mm -hmm. They're not good, so you get one like... Um, like a Lucas A bottle kind of shape, right. and there's, no, there's no crinkle on it. Like, what great idea! Smart, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't make noise when you're in the bathroom, yeah. too. I don't know what it was from, so I got it. And one of my other friends used to work with the same work with me, and he goes, Bro, I just I just leave it in there. That's a good idea, is that actually? Just that behind the toilet and stashed it in next to a pipe, but no one's finding that it's safe, yeah? yeah? And then every evening, someone used to leave a thing saying, Can you please move your water bottle? Yeah. Then the next time, it is, Can you please throw your water bottle in the bin? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. How rude. I know who the cleaner is, she's really, really nice. She just didn't know it was me. She knew it was me, she, she talked to me. Why didn't you tell her it was me? It kind of shows that I'm having a bit. But you know what it's for? I think it's weird. Like, what's he taking a water bottle to the time? Like, Do you get embarrassed you know, when you're filling up again at the sink? Oh no, I don't business really. I speak very openly about what it is. <laughs> I'm here to wash my bum. <laughs> at the same workplace, people will tell you. I encourage many people to start doing that. Yeah, and you I converted know, people to bum washing, didn't yeah, I did. you? I know at least one did it. The others hung their head in shame and didn't do it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm looking at you. You can break my teeth. Most times you see me, I'll be eating dates. I've been eating dates so long. You ready? That was just a joke. I've been eating dates so long that I don't even have to look when I do this. Watch it. I'm watch it. Okay, I'm going to look. <laughs> I don't want to waste my day. Don't look. That was a oh, baby, that's so awful. <laughs> I'm trying not to hit you. Okay. Oh no, date slap me. Go to my head one time, gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that. <laughs> Obviously, it's Ramadan, and um, as well as people. Diving into Ibadah and Nadine, it's a nice time to reflect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we just made like 60 kebabs. 60? It took ages. So long. This was two of us. It came to the part where when it was iftar, I was um, still making the kebabs, so I'm like, oh, to, I'm hard to put a date in my mouth. Oh, you sound like my mom. And I was like, when I was little, I remember my mom would say, you know, when your mom's so busy cooking and doing all things, and she's just like, oh, just, just pass me a little date, just pass me a little date to break my fast. Oh, you sound like a mum. That's what mum's doing. Just put a date in my mouth. <laughs> Mara! 
That's the last one. That sounds like that sounds like like an old lady. Ah, just put me to the mirror, Fafter. I'm just cooking. <laughs> We've been married for uh, a year and a half, and last Ramadan, Amara was uh, kind of ill, so she was in hospital for a lot of it. So we spent like the last half of Ramadan together. And by that point, obviously, she was ill and she was coming back home and I was doing a lot of things uh, around the house. Not that I have a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. If I did things for my wife. <laughs> it was my first um, Ramadan properly outside of the house. And then, obviously, I'm living here. And um, and it was COVID, so you couldn't even go home. Yeah. So he, he would just be sending me videos. <laughs> I was in hospital and he was here by himself. Yeah. So it was a big, like, it was a big culture change for what um, Ramadan is because Ramadan feels very... Um, very family oriented to me. I'm always with the family. We pray together, we eat together, and um, there's iftar every day. And it's just very, you just the smell the food being made, the taste yeah. of the milk. And we used to play a lot of Islam channel or other channels. Um, we used to watch Islam channel all the time too. You yeah. just have it in the background, no, live appeal. No, sure. This really is our first proper Ramadan together. Yeah. And it's weird to try and make or make your own. If I say when I was young, when I was growing up, Ramadan was like, I used to go outside and I could smell it in the air. Yeah, and it might sound a bit silly, but I could, you can smell, I could smell Ramadan in the air. And the days were short and it was the smell of the cold air and that. And now it's getting a bit older. It's turned into the summer days and the long and stuff like that. So the whole, the whole season's changed. Oh, uh, it's just not the way you remember yeah, it. Yeah, everything, everything's a coach. Cool, you like, still smell it coming? I couldn't this year, no. I promise it's you nice. I, could, I could smell it, yeah. There should be a word for that when a smell gives you a memory. Nostalgia, isn't it? No, like a smell nostalgia. A smell one. Yeah. I think it's called a memory. Smell nostalgia. Smell nostalgia. Smell 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 you. Smell you. Smell you. Have you ever? F So yeah, so now we've got a little challenge to, um, I guess, create our own yeah Ramadan, Ramadan feels yeah so much pressure. <laughs> you know when you've like you've been in your your family house and it's kind of you've you've had your little feels of okay it's Ramadan. You don't even have to do anything. You know you just have to be there. You just have to turn up. Literally. I turn up every day. It's Ramadan in this house. It's like when you've moved out, you have got to kind of create the feeling a bit, which is helped by this. <laughs> So, um, we have our Ramadan decorations here. Oh, she put this. Do what? You're trying to make it on, do a little advert. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Help me. Okay. Help me. Are you, new are you newly married? Have you been spoiled? Okay. Are you newly married? Have you recently moved out of your family home? Have you been spoiled with Ramadan blessings for the past 15 to 20 years of your life? Are you trying to create your own Ramadan feels? Well, looky here. <laughs> Lucky for you, we bring to you <laughs> Ramadan celebrations. No, lucky for you, no. Are you ready? <laughs> Introducing <laughs> Ramadan decorations. <laughs> we have an assortment of varieties. They come together as individuals, but you can also group them together like this. Once you group them together, they are hard to separate, much like families. <laughs> Buy your own or get your donations from family members who don't want. <laughs> get buy your own or just use the ones left over from your ex family home. Yeah. We don't believe in rejects. We believe in. Wait. <laughs> we don't believe in rejects. We, be we're we're we don't believe in rejects. We believe in turning other people's dirt into our tomorrow. <laughs> Did your mum used to make um, sehri for you? And some people call it sohur, isn't it? Sohur yeah. sehri, same thing. What she make for you? She used to make like samia, she used to make porridge, or she used to make... My mum used to make of... milk, milky with the thin samia. Oh, we do milky with the thick one, and, yeah, and we only have it on Eid. Yeah. No, mum makes halva puri on Eid. 
Oh yeah, yeah. How about boiled meat makes me sick. I mean, it's delicious, but as soon as so you good. eat it, so it's, much, it's a rich food, isn't too, it? Yeah, I ate it last last year at your mum's, innit? I was eating it, and I was like, "This is so nice." And then all of a sudden, I was like, <laughs> 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 it was pressure. It was nice, but it was pressure. Man. My mum used to make me um, she used to make me sandwiches. Did she make them before she went to bed. She made the sandwiches before she went to bed. Look how the I'm in bed already, man. Look how nice mum is here. So I used to go to bed. I was working. Mum used to make the sandwiches before I went to bed. She used to wrap them in foil, mm. and she used to stick um. Little name on Stick it. Stick a note on it oh. saying Sufyan with like a flower oh. or Sufyan with a smiley face or a little monkey or something. That oh, was, your mum draws yeah. as well. Imagine like being like so tired in the middle of the night and making making you some horror. You just went drawing a little monkey or a little animal. Uh, you take it for granted sometimes, don't you? And the other day, um, first day of Ramadan, my mum messaged me as well. She's like, oh, remember, you need to wake up before 4.37 or 4.30 or whatever time um, Fajr was. And I'm like, okay, I've got this, I've got this. I've got to make it set. And I said, hey, don't worry, it'll be easy, it'll be easy, yeah? <laughs> set around 4 a.m., wake me up. I'm like, okay, I go to sleep. I went to sleep at about 2 in the morning as well, yeah? You there? Okay, said is coming, said is coming, yeah? The alarm goes off at 4 in the morning. I'm like, wake up. I'm thinking, I've got time, I'm just going to make some porridge, yeah? Go back to sleep. Press the button again. And my five o'clock alarm went off. I missed them, um, sorry, yeah. Turn to the right, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Amara. I asked you, I said to you, shall I make you sorry? What do you want, sorry? I'll just have some dates. I'll just have dates it's in not, a banana. It's not, it's not your, it's in a not banana. your job to make me sorry. But it's not my mum's job either. <laughs> yeah. So whose job is it? It's, it's my job to make me sorry. But my mum did do it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lesson in there, husbands. Anybody listening, there's a lesson in there. <laughs> they say marry someone with the... Uh, what should we make of you every day now? You're going to wake up, you're going to have a selection, bro. Marry someone with the character bro. traits of your um, mother. You're going to have a selection. You're going to be like to me, I didn't. I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> Look at me. Miss Sari on my first, first pass. Wife dribbling on the pillow. <laughs> I don't even dribble. They do it the sun away. Baby, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Bit of water on the hand like that. Sun Is that sun that? wake up. <laughs> when I was little, I remember my little sister Sarah, she would only like me waking her up because I'd wake her up really gently, like she's really hard to wake up. I would wake her up so gently, right, and she would love it. Mum, the way mum wakes people up is she holds a glass of water, like over, you're lying down, she'll hold it over your face like this, she'll, like, wake up her and put water on you, and you know what you eat, you know what you eat, you know what you eat. <laughs> Imagine you're dreaming. It's like a version. I think that's. I think that's no, no, a bit no. done. <laughs> <laughs> hold it over you. You go. I'm gonna pour it on you. Five seconds. Wake up. So is that sunna thing? Not that. That's bit. not sunna. <laughs> that's, that's not sunna. <laughs> Trickling water on his wife to wake her up. Something like that. Something oh, like I have heard that. Mum didn't do a trickle. <laughs> she pour the. Sometimes you'd wake up and <laughs> you wake up and you'd be in a puddle under your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drowning, mum. I'm drowning. <laughs> I really appreciate waking me up for fun though. We did wake me up very well this morning because I had birds. Sometimes I think when I don't wake <clears> up properly, I wonder how hard did you try to wake me up? Listen, what, what, what happens now is I pray for Yeah. Yeah. And then I get back into bed, like, Amara, Amara, you should wake up, it's Fodger time. Yeah, Honestly. Actually, no, I think I remember this morning. You see it sweetly, say, baby, you, you might want to pray now because it's Fodger time. Baby, I need something more aggressive. Shaitan is keeping you in. No, no, I can't do that. You wake Amara up. Mara, Mara. <laughs> <laughs> I get really scared. Uh, baby. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what you went through as a kid. Even I don't know what you went through as a kid. Mara, baby. Okay, you might want to wake up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? Are you alright? Are you alright? I didn't feel like I'm in trouble. Any, any therapists um, on our page, please leave your uh, details in the comments. I just section. feel like, I know, you know, I don't get like peaceful dreams. I'll say this to Sofiane the other day. He gets very vivid dreams that he remembers. I don't remember my dreams. I just get stressful dreams where it's a pointless dream. I'm going through some kind of stress. Then I wake up and I don't remember anything except I've not rested because I've just stressed all night. I'll tell you one of my dreams. A lot of people don't share dreams, but I'm going to share this dream with you. I'm wondering which one is. It's, it's the same one, the best one. Oh, yeah, it's a good dream. Yeah. So uh, I had a dream. You know, sometimes in dreams you get this, um, like this kind of. Do you know what? So you have some words where you say. Sometimes you say a word and it feels cringy. Like, oh, yeah, this guide came. The guardian came. To, I don't really want to use words like spirit guide. But let's say this person, or being, <laughs> or presence. <laughs> it was my guide. <laughs> this 
spirit walked into another place. There was something going on in my life at the time, yeah. It was Ramadan as well. The dream comforted me a lot anyway. So this person came to me into my dream and he says, um, says I'll follow, follow me. I'm like, okay. And he takes me to the kitchen in my house. And he says, uh, you know how to make tea? I said, yeah, I know how to make tea. He goes, make a cup of tea. So I boil the kettle, I put the tea bag in, the mug. And he goes, now pour the water in. So I got the kettle and I poured the water into the mug. The water in the tea bag changes the colour of the water so it goes to the dark colour. Then he says, um, okay, now put the milk in. So I got the milk and I poured the milk in and it changed colour again, like milky brown colour. And he says, okay, now change it back. Take the milk out now, change it back. And I was like, um, what, what are you talking about? You take the milk out and change it back to the other colour now. I, like, I don't know how to do that because the, the milk is doubt. Yeah, and when you pour doubt into something, it changes the colour, you can't take it out. And so it says doubt, putting doubt into things and doubt into people, causing doubt is haram. It's a change you can't undo, isn't Yeah, it? it's a change you can't do. That was my dream. Check that for a dream. That's a really good dream. You said, Sufyan, Sufyan, it's fudged. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Once you put doubt into something, once you cast doubt onto something, you can't undo that. If you're, um, you know, gossiping or spreading something about someone, I think about, you know what, since you've told me about it, I think I shouldn't speak on anything of other people because once you, once you say that, you can't undo it. You can't, yeah. you cannot remove that thing. And my dad told me that um, the most powerful muscle or dangerous weapon on your body is, is the tongue. Mm -hmm. It has four cages. So the top row of teeth, the bottom row of teeth, the top lips and your bottom lips. It's basically the most dangerous weapon. That's what will send you to hell. Mm -hmm. Backbiting and slander and doubt things of that nature, they're like the worst things you can do to people, you know? Well, amongst the worst things. That's four things to move before you, like four things that have to have yeah. motion before you. Open your missus out your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Open your teeth out your lips. I'm trying to do that for coming alone. Open your teeth without opening your lips, go. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> you will. <bewildered. laughs> yeah. Well, it's late. Um, just thought we'd have a little chat about that. Anything else you want to say? Um, I'll say something nice that I've really liked since, since you know, having <laughs> since having Ramadan married. Yeah. I've liked praying together with you yeah. at night. Aww. You know, when we pray normally together in Jama, it's always nice. But praying at night, yeah. like the night prayer together, yeah. it feels so nice. Yeah. You know, certain things that you just you crave. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's you crave in your heart. It makes me feel so good in my heart when we pray together at night. I really love that bit. So yeah. Okay, that's um, all from us today. It's about midnight. We're cooking in Ramadan. We're praying together. I just got to up it with some more things. So far, it's been Sufyan missing Seri and me screaming when I'm waking up, waking up a budget time. But by the end of Ramadan, inshallah, we'll be somewhere. Maybe we'll bake a banana cake together because Sufyan's been looking forward to banana cake. Really banana he doesn't cake. let himself have it unless he's like really low on calories. But I say to him, give half away. Give half away to somebody. He's like, no. But I love banana cake. Why would I do that? I'm like, is because it? you're scared about the calories. No, no, no. Banana cake is calories. It's sugar. It's bad. Yeah. Why do I want to give something bad to someone? <laughs> yeah? Think about it. You're such a good person. Masha'Allah. Baby, you're such a good person. <laughs> I would say, Masha'Allah. Alhamdulillah. I'm not a good person. I'm okay. Allah is the most powerful. Do you know why I'm saying this, yeah? Nazar. I'm going to give you a talk on Nazar, yeah? I'll teach you exactly. Do that what tomorrow I'm now. I've got a lot to say on that. Got a lot to say on Nazar, it. You can do it now if you want. Ayn, Hasad. It's all the same thing. Stay tuned. <laughs> 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 <laughs>